Hello and welcome back to Shari no Kuni. I know it was a long time, but I'm back now. And yeah, we're continuing this now. So the last thing was a steamy hot relationship deepening. And the fact that <clears throat> she could not draw the picture under that. She could not draw a good picture under the time pressure and she talked with him about it and yeah. And the last thing that happened was we got a phone call and we got out of the YouTube unfriendly scene, more or less. Anyway, I think we just continue it now and yes, I forgot the name. <laughs> Her name was Sachi and his name was... Um... Forgot his name. I know her name. Her name was Sachi. The little girl's name was Mana. And his name was... Wow, I can't remember the name of the actual protagonist. Yeah, whatever. It will be there. Any... It will repeat often enough, I guess. Okay. Let's continue. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't... I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but my lips are for some reason quite wet. That's because they are sore of the sickness I have and had. And, well, I don't even know why they got sore. Because I had a little, um, uh, how is it called? I, well, if you have to sneeze out your nose and if you have to blow your nose... How's it? A cold! I had a cold and for some reason my lips are sore now. Maybe it's because of the cold weather in combination with the warmth inside the house and so on. I don't know, but that's why they are maybe wetter than they are usual. And yeah, I don't know. Was that weird to try to emphasize that? I think it was. Anyway... That night, I got a call on my cell phone out of the blue. It was an emergency contact from Pops. I headed to the school on his orders. Oh yeah, and yeah, she couldn't do it under that pressure. And then we offered her to pay the money to to sell out, not to sell out Mana in the bad way, but to buy Mana, basically, because she she was threatened to be sold away. To her homeland and basically be a slave there. Or some kind of butler slave. A maiden, a house maiden, but more or less a slave. She was just sold out of, would have been sold out of the country and we tried to save her. And she had to do the painting, but she couldn't under the time pressure. We cave in and said, okay, we pay it, but promise me to finish a good picture. And she promised to do so, Sachi. So... Yeah, and now I have a bad feeling after he mentioned Pops, because I think the bargain has been raised again. And basically, the money he needed to to give her in order to save her are all his savings. It, it seems to, he after that he's broke. And wow, I, I don't know why he he did this. Huh. Whatever, I think something bad will happen. Kenichi! There we go, and he... Kenichi something. He has actually two names, his real identity and the new Kenichi. Morita Kenichi! Oh yeah, there it is! It's Morita, he said on the door. Well, the music is already unsettling. Hoizuki stood up, something quite unusual for him. After he saw that it was me, he approached slowly, using his cane for balance. An unstable gait, as usual. Report! An immediate request, as usual. Sachi is in the process of restarting painting. I plan on making this the beginning of her rehabilitation. And what are your thoughts on her outlook? Outlook? Was he asking exact when exactly I intended to finish with her re rehabilitation? 
I have no specific schedule at the moment. You have no specific schedule? I could do nothing but tell the truth. So you mean to offer me such vague words as someday, eventually, or sooner or later? So you mean to tell me that you would have her take her time in order to complete her painting comfortably? Morita, just what purpose does that serve? Huh? Uh oh. I think this is how it backfires now. Her Cohen hedonistic lifestyle was a result of taking things at her own pace, in relative comfort. Am I not correct? The desire for work and the desire for leisure exist to equal measures within human beings. Does it? In general, we tend to lean toward the leisure side of the spectrum. And it was your job to teach her how to overcome that. Dot dot dot. I couldn't defend myself in any way. By the way, there's something that is distributed distributed to all humans equally, and I do not mean time. Uh, I feel like the cold, the cold I have hinder, still hinders me a little bit to actually do the voices like I want them to sound. So I'm sorry for that. Well, maybe I should look at the camera and say I'm sorry for that. The cold still prevents me to... to Pronunciate and read as I usually would like to. <laughs> why? Why does he say huh? Do you understand? I briefly recalled what would become of cadets who failed in their task. No. Do you understand? Nope, I don't understand anything. Please explain. What do you mean? What is equally distributed to every human that is not time? There was no escape for me. Right now, all I wanted to do was get back... Wanted to do was get back my own wasted time. Dot dot dots. Oh! Wait, what? The what? Uh okay, um, well, so what? No, uh, no, w really? It's so we got the specs, but now we failed because we go, we were going easy on her. So in exchange for having the hot steamy scenes, we automatically get a bad end because we can't get our priorities straight. So, what I basically have to do is to be a dick to her now. Uh, uh. Okay. Um. 
okay, then then that's what what we're going. Uh, uh, okay, so it's a good thing I dropped a safe right there where I have to make a decision. Make her continue against her. Oh, this is. This is. It's too cruel! Make her continue against her own will. No, wait, you know what? I go a little bit further back. I put my- I, I go back to here and put my foot down. <clears throat> oh god, the music already gives me a bad feeling. Don't even think about relying on me. If you don't paint now, you won't be able to paint ever again. For the rest of your life. I approached Sachi slowly. You do love painting, don't you? If you didn't love it, you wouldn't have been able to concentrate like that yesterday. Aren't you so frustrated that you can't stand it? You look like you are just slacking off all day. But you actually have a lot of pride, don't you? Because you want to do something big in the future. Being an art teacher sounds cool, doesn't it? Plus, you are a genius who won an award when you were just a kid. You can't afford to let anyone see a bad piece of work. You understand this in your own head, but you just don't have the confidence to follow through with it. You are too worried that you have to make an even better piece of work than before. It's not... She trembled, clenching her fists in vexation. Well, in the end, a bystander like me can never really understand how you feel. I assert that 80% of people who claim to understand your feelings are liars. 10% of them are good-natured people. And the remaining 10 are trash like me. People who are well aware of the fact that they don't understand your feelings and use this as leverage when they have to. Oh my. Wow, I don't know. Put my foot down theme seems to be the appropriate choice. I hope it is the appropriate choice here to do. Because making her to for force her to go on against her own will is worse than putting the foot down in this very situation. Anyway, if you don't complete that painting, Mana will be well on her way to a foreign country. That's all. You are serious? I am the special high class individual in charge of your supervision. Looking after your acquaintances does not fall under my jurisdiction. Oh god, this is almost worse! <laughs> this feels so much worse! Oh, there was a dot 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 before, by the way. I'll be the one to save Mana. Her voice shook. I had no way of knowing what was going on inside her head. Okay, let's see if I can actually skip now. So no progress today either. Um, okay, I think there's a uh, there's a way. The problem is I don't know how far it will skip. Let's just see what happens. You know. Okay, that's basically the same.
So basically, it didn't make anything better. It didn't change anything. Okay, so be nice there, and... It, it doesn't change anything. So I have to make her continue against her own will. Against my own desire. This is choice based? You are forcing the choice onto me, otherwise I get a bad ending. That's not nice. But I would love to see that in a Telltale game. That you actually can end the game prematurely, not by death, but by other circumstances. Because in Telltale games, if you do a if you do a bad choice there, maybe some people die or stuff like that. But it doesn't interrupt you to get to the very end, to episode 5 most of the time. To get your ending at the very, very end there. But here, if you do a mistake here in one of your choices, you get a bad ending. And I really want to see someone get a bad ending before the game even reaches its final episode. <laughs> that would be hilarious. N not just this weird game over, but a real ending within an ongoing game. Not by death or something like that. Okay, make her continue against her own will. Because I'm a prick... I have to do it in order to see the full game. I could have very well ended the let's play because yeah, I got the bad end. Now you can go elsewhere, but no, this is not, this is the worst. Okay. Uh, okay, make her, make her continue against her own will. Yeah. We have to save mana. We have to do whatever it takes to accomplish that goal. Oh man. Sorry about this. She had misunderstood me. Sachi. This was a gamble. I steeled my heart and made my decision. Oh! I'm sorry, do much better next time. She took my hand and drew her body closer to mine. Her eyes clung to me. I could feel just how great her sense of relief was. It was like I had pulled her out of the water right before she had drowned, but that's not the case. So I felt that my next statement was inexcusable in some way. It's time. Music. I reached into my case and took out the bottle that had arrived yesterday. Wait, what? What, uh, what are you talking about? It, it's only five, isn't it? I, I still have two hours left. She checked her watch to make sure. What? Hey, K Kenichi? She had noticed that I was acting strange. I should I suppose she did have good instincts after all. Sachi. Uh, hi. She looked timidly upward at me. Starting today, your day will be redu reduced to ten hours. Well, What? Uh, Honky? Uh, are you serious? This is a temporary measure that I am exploring based on the discretion granted to me under the special guidance provision. It will end when my supervision ends. No, but why? Why? It was natural to question why. Uh, 
I, I did try to trick you and give up on the painting, but was it really that lazy? This is just something I've decided. <laughs> What? C cut it out! I thought you said that you didn't plan on enforcing any rules. Rules that didn't come with my obligation. I tell a lot of lies. No way! Also, I need to clear up this misunderstanding of yours. And then I knew exactly what it looked like when someone sank into pure despair. Your time limit is seven days. If you don't complete the painting by then, you can say goodbye to Mana. Ah, oh God, and just today my back started to hurt for no apparent reason. Ugh. Oh. Kenichi. What the heck are you doing? I had unloaded Sachi into her bed after returning from the sunflower field. Hey, Kenichi, it's not seven yet. She grabbed Sachi's hand in concern. I've shortened her day by two hours. Why? I have my reasons. Oh god, this got dark. Well, I don't understand them. Stop bullying on chan There was nothing I could say to calm her down. Even an amateur could tell that she had cut corners on the painting she tried to show me. She was trying to trick me in order to get the money. As punishment, I'm decreasing her time. She cut corners? She mouthed words. I don't believe it. That's, that's a lie. I'm sure it was just practice a practice picture. Is that what you want to see, Mana? A practice picture? What would you think of Sachi's picture? Oh, what would you think if Sachi's picture was far worse than you could have ever imagined? Would you be sad then? Well, I mean, she hasn't painted in a while, so she can't help it if she's a little worse. You're lying too, aren't you? <laughs> oh god. That's just the impression I got. I'm lying? You don't think so? How many years have you been asking her to do this? The mere week I had been going at it was nothing in comparison. Such as pictures are amazing, right? So amazing that people even claimed that she had plagi pl plagiarized them, right? You wouldn't feel sad if she showed you something crappy after all of that? To build up someone's expectations and then betray them. Sure, sure, I would be sad, but that's unavoidable. It's unavoidable, but you can't accept it, can you? I continued without hesitation, seeking to draw her feelings out. You said it before, didn't you, Mana? That no matter how much she ends up hating you, painting is the best thing for her now. Those words, words aren't easy to say. You were serious. I looked down at Sachi's sleeping face. 
But Sachi herself isn't taking this seriously at all. Is that why? Hmm? Is that why you reduced Onechan's time? You are smart. I don't need to explain any more to you, do I? I still don't really know. Your me method seems right, but it seems wrong, wrong too. I sighed. You know, back in the day, I was a dumb little runt. But I was forced to go through a lot of training for high class individuals. I had many hardships along the way. I even thought I was going to die a couple of times. Like the one who arrived with me a few minutes later and then got shot in the face? Yeah, I remember that and that is still an image in my head. She got shot because she was a couple of minutes late and he didn't give crap about her. Oh wow, now I can understand how he's able to do that. But you know what? I reached the end. If there's one thing I learned from all that training, it's this. When someone is backed into a corner, they are capable of dealing with the situation quite well. Oh, maybe that's... <laughs> Sorry, just lamenting myself. I don't even know if that was the real word. I'm just reflecting a little bit on his words. Because I'm not really backed into a corner yet. <laughs> also, just when you think you are at your limit, you learn that your real limit is quite a ways down the line. I think this is the best method. If this fails and Sachi ends up even worse than before, then, I, then I'll then i take responsibility for my actions. All we can do is hope she gives it her all. Like she says every morning. I then noticed that Mana was holding my right hand. W what's this about? No, nothing. I just thought it might be tough for Kenichi too. Oh, she, she's so cute and lovable. She's so adorable. <laughs> she's so concerned even for me and I'm the one who does so really mean things. Huh? Look, your hands are shaking. Uh, I clenched my fist tighter. Is it hard on you? She held my hand tighter. Oh god, yes, it is! Is it hard on you, having to be so tough on Onechan? Oh god, I totally cracked my voice right there. I started petting Mana's head without replying. What was clear was that, out of three of us, I wasn't the one who had it the worst. Let's hang in there tomorrow, okay? Mana nodded, giving me her usual smile. And then our day, which was so much longer than Sachi's, came to an end. Oh god, no, please. I have the feeling I will get to a bad end at least two more times. Or wait this girl, this that girl. 
Yeah, two more times at least. I get the bad ending for my decisions. Today's weather was a bit more humid than I had become accustomed to. It was still quite early in the morning. I was giving Sachi a piggyback ride to the sunflower field as she was still stopped. <laughs> Sachi's face distorted in agony as soon as the hand on my watch hit seven. Mana peered at Sachi with concern. <coughs> Why is she coughing? Sachi immediately launched into a coughing fit after she set herself up wide. Are you okay, Onichan? <coughs> I feel like crap. That's to be expected. It's your first time taking that medicine. You're gonna feel like crap in the mornings until you get used to it. So this is the new medicine. Wait, was the new medicine? So the new medicine of is is the new medicine now worse or better than the old one? Because one of them induces nightmares. So. Induces and and enhances nightmares. So which one of those is worse? The 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 one she had before or the one she's taking now? Ah, that's right. I'm at ten hours now, aren't I? Magic. Seriously? Oh man, so it wasn't a dream after all. You are pretty harsh, Kenichi. She glared at me. You're trying to tell me that that wasn't worth decreasing your time over? Exactly! You're being super overbearing! Now I'm even less motivated than before! Well, that would be too sad, because Mana will be then sent straight back to her homeland, sold out as a slave maiden. And a sex slave maiden, to be exactly, I would say. I mean, you, you don't have to be motivated for... Kenny cheese or my sake you have to be motivated for mana's sake right there who's looking very very sad right now she had decided to play the role of the righteously ended in indignant she would have just taken advantage of me if I had eased up on her at all hurry up and eat your breakfast then get to painting You guys can leave now. Nope, we are gonna be watching you nice and closely. I've told you already, that's distracting as hell. Stop fighting. We are not fighting! Kenichi is just pissing me off with his high and mighty attitude of his! There, that sounds like fighting to me! Man, you have no idea how lucky you are. The only reason you can get this saucy with me is because I'm freaking... I'm a freaking saint compared to the rest of the special high class individuals. And I run out of breath. <sighs> no, you are definitely way too full of yourself for someone whose sole duty is sitting there and watching me paint. Well, of course I can't do anything but sit there and watch. 
You are the one who has to paint the thing. Oh, I should have enforced that more. Wait. Wait. <clears throat> well, of course I can't do anything but sit there and watch. You are the one who has to paint the thing. That's like running in a ma that's like running a marathon, then turning around to the crowd, cheering you on and complaining that they are not even running. It's funny, I haven't heard anything that could be considered cheering from you. Well, actually, a few episodes before, or even two, one episode before? No, two episodes before, he actually cheered with Mana together in a whisper behind her back. So they were cheering, but not so loud that it could distract her. Nichan, don't say something like that. What the heck? You're not gonna stick up for me? That, that's not true. But I do think you should make a picture. Jeez, you guys have no idea how I'm feeling. She was starting to lose sight of herself from all the impatience and fatigue. I quietly offered her the special health food I had had pre prepared for her. Eat this, then get to work. She hates me now. She had made sure that I could hear that one. Sachi, I'm begging you. Please. <laughs> huh? This is super serious. Sachi had only herself to blame for that. Alright, fine. I may have been a bit too lazy. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Man and I exchanged glances without thinking about it. And for her sake, right? I'll paint. I'll start painting. I'll paint for the sake of my future. Mana held her hand to her chest in an expression of relief. Oh. Come noon, it was so hot that I could have sworn that I could see heat waves rising out of the ground. Do you think she'll be okay without sleeping? We were watching Sachi at a distance. Yeah, she didn't get any sleep yesterday. We should let her sleep today. I'm worried. Hey, it's nothing to worry about. Young people like us can stay up for three days straight with no problems. And I get the feeling that there was once a famous painter who said that you can paint your best when you are fatigued. Really? Yeah, he kept a spoon in his mouth while he was painting. He would bite down on it whenever he started falling asleep, so that he could continue painting in a drowsy state. Wait, does that work? Can you really put a spoon in your mouth and then... And then when you would fall asleep, you... <laughs> Which side? Do you have it put it upside down or with with a... With the curved one inside on your tongue, and then you go like that, and then you would turn. <coughs> How? That would hurt on the teeth if you are a spider. That sure, that sure sounds like something a genius would do. I think your sister's a genius too, don't you? That's what. That's right. Then there's nothing to worry about. At least that's what I needed to make her think. 
I'm going to go check. I'm going to go check up on her. Sachi's expression was a blank slate. Not a trace of her previous complaints were to be found upon it. She had started over from the beginning. She had a pencil in hand and had started work on the draft of the scenery. And had started work on the draft at, of the... Okay. Do you have a moment? She didn't even look in my direction. It's gonna be noon pretty soon. Dot dot dots again. I'd like to take this time to see just how far you've progressed and come up with a schedule that will allow you finish within our time limit. Oh, just shut up! She stood up. I'm, I'm trying to concentrate here. I don't need a goddamn backseat driver. I am well aware of how impolite I am being. Then go home! You are in the way! Taking your anger out on me won't help you finish your painting any faster. You're watching me to make sure I'm not sleeping, right? That's part of it, but it's also been pretty hot lately. We need to make sure that you stay healthy. I'm already plenty unhealthy. You've got a lot of stamina. You managed to hold on when you were trapped back in the cave, right? Well, there was money on the line back then. Well, this time there's also money on the line. Money to save mana. Money's on the line this time too. Much more of it even. Well, yeah, but... She was starting to get incoherent. God, I should really look this shit up. Okay, incoherent. Let's I should just prepare this every time. I mean this this seems to be important. I can I can guess what it would mean, but I want to make sure that it actually is that. So here we go. Okay. Okay, for some reason my fucking phone says no vocabulary downloaded, which is bullshit, but okay. <sighs> to get incoherent. You already get all his savings! Hey, how about when I finish the picture, you throw in a little extra money for me? I'll make something that's worth it. I can get really motivated if you do that. Sachi. I could hardly believe my ears. I was just joking. You want something to drink? Ah, yeah, go buy something. Tea would be good. I swear I'm not gonna do anything if you make me drink that nasty juice again. Yeah, yeah, alright. And that's how I ended up going out to buy tea for Sachi. It is pretty hot. Yeah, you've got that right. It's like it's midsummer already. Oh god, I would hate that. This town has really hot summers and really cold winters. Well, it is in a mountain basin. Would I be able to complete my examination before summer ended? But I can't believe she called my juice nasty. 
Sachi's pretty crazy, isn't she? Let Mana try it out. I poured some honey juice into a cup and handed it over. Honey is actually pretty healthy. You can actually use honey as an antibiotic. I hope I pronounced that right. An antibiotic against bacteria. So basically honey is the natural antibiotic. So that's why it is so healthy. You can also... Well, that's actually a good idea. You can also use honey to put it on sore... Um, on sore skin and it will heal quite good and quite easy uh, I mean honey is an amazing substance Mana drank it all in one big gulp <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little child likes honey Oh, I would like to, to take a sip of it honey juice Bleh is it really that bad? I felt kind of like I had just done something unforgivable. Such a cute face. Oh, why, why are you putting one go? Why not just zip before it? S -s Sorry. Well, what? It's it's delicious, really delicious. The way the honey wraps around your throat is super real. Dot dot dot. She didn't have to go as far as imitating Sachi to try and cheer me up. I decided to seal this wicked juice away forever. Well then, I'll go run my little errands now. Oh, she did she lie to me? Would she lie to my face? I'll go too. No, don't worry about it. I've already done enough to you. Then buy Mana some tea too. You got it. It was hot as hell. Oh god, she will get a uh, heat stroke or something like that. I was working up a sweat just walking to the store. Carrying this Dula Dua Lumine case around with me all the time. I must look like a salesman or something. Mm -hmm. Someone was hanging out in the window of a nearby building. Oh, ne? She was sucking quite forcefully on a popsicle. Of course! Anime and popsicle. Yeah, it looks like if if anime girls lick a popsicle, it looks like they are sucking a D. Yep, that's basically it. And there was one anime in particular I never watched, but I saw cracks of it on Lost Pass. So yeah, I know what forcefully is. Sucking forcefully on the popsicle is looking like. Hey, your knee! Kiss your incessant slurping! Wait, is it his real sister? Uh, oh, she! Toka! Oh, okay. I thought. She's the one? Ah, uh, Morita Kenichi? Wait, she. Wait, Tsundere, what was my Tsundere was? Uh, Morita Kenichi? Her hand jolted in surprise. Huh? Oops! The long stick what that one had been enjoying so much fell to the ground and dissolved instantaneously. <laughs> what the hell was that for? I didn't do anything. Oh. Come on, buy her a new one! She stared at the rapidly expanding stain on the ground as if it were a sign of the apocalypse. <laughs> and, and that was my first ice cream in a while! Did you get Kyoko san's permission? <laughs> Uh, 
Now I won't be able to eat ice cream for another week. <sighs> Not to mention that I can't be satisfied until I've sucked every last drop of juice out of the stick. God, that sounds so sexual. Not when I wet it out, of course, but... In general, I was starting to feel bad for her, and I hadn't even done anything. You shouted at her and startled her by it. This is all Marita Kenichi's fault. <laughs> Baka! You... You idiot! What are you going to do about it? You had better take responsibility for your actions! Alright, here's some juice. It's sweet! My mom profits me from drinking anything sweet! Even if it's a health drink? Oh, that's not prohibited. Then it's safe. It only tastes sweet because there's a lot of sugar content. Uh-oh, I have a bad feeling. Then, hand it over! If it tastes good, I'll forgive you. Dot dot dot. Nice going. Wasn't much left in the thermos, and the sweets... And the sweets aficionado... A sweets aficionado like Oni should be capable of handling it. Here you go! Whoa, it's a weird color! She took a gulp. How is it? <laughs> she likes it! Yes! Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty good! Oh! She happily took a second swig. Oh, so delicious! I might get addicted to this! Man, we agree on the strangest things, don't we? What is this? Where do they sell it? It's custom made. You can't buy it around here. Custom? How much does it cost? Well... Quite a bit, considering I had had to force a soft drink company, which was subsidiary of my own, into complying with my request for- Wait, what?! Quite a bit, considering I had to force a soft drink company, which was a subsidiary of my own, into complying with my request for it. Okay, so it is a company which is part of his- which is a sub- company of his own company in complying with my request if you used yen I think it'd be about 100,000 per serving eh? 100,000 in Japanese yen? that's enough money to conquer the world not even close you should broaden your horizons a bit you could buy around 10 e iwogi with that kind of money. What are e iwogi? I know that iwogi is a is a form of love novel slash hentai novel games. So basically, the thing I'm having here right now. But what what does the e stand for in before iwogi? An e weighted iwogi? I don't know what the E stands for. What kind of example is that? She was unmistakably disgusted. <laughs> I'm undergoing some intensive training right now. Huh? Yeah, well, you see... I want to reach the point where I'm able to fire off dirty jokes in rapid succession. 
Disgusting. I try a new voice for her because I just, just something popped into my mind. I don't care what others think. It's my it's my one and only weakness. Hmm. Wait, what? What is your one and only weakness? E it will gain games or you mean spouting out dirty jokes in a quick succession? Seriously, what is her problem? Anyway, if you like it so much, I can get some more for you. Really? Yep, whenever I get around to my next order. She was demonstrating an unusual amount of excitement for a simple soft drink. I guess it just went to show how strict Kyoko-san's rules were. Needed to hurry up and cancel One's obligation as well. But Sachi needed to pull through first. Ah, hey, can I ask you something a bit gloomy? What kind of question is that? Sachi doesn't have any friends, does she? Huh? Well, what do you mean by that? Her panic was aching to that of someone who had just inadvertently made the wrong move in chess. So yeah, I know the voices don't match up, but I can oh, I can't do a lot of female voices and I just want to get something at least. Or I try to stick with what I hear from her and try to interpret it in my own. I don't know. I have the feeling everyone sounds very similar here. What do I mean? I mean what I said. Well, judging from her response, she didn't know what I was talking about. Sachi is really working hard on a painting right now. A painting? Sachi paints? It was rather surprising, wasn't it? So please, don't try to help her out. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? She is my friend after all. As I'm sure you know, there are two types of people in the world. Those who blame, blame others for their own problems and those who blame themselves far too much. Can it with that, with the damn muttering? You heard me, didn't you? Sachi is the kind who'll end up dragging others into her own crap. So don't get close to her. She'll end up depending on you too much. I, I don't really get it. I'd like to help her as a friend if she's having trouble. That wouldn't benefit her. Really? She didn't seem convinced. I guess I didn't explain it well enough. Sachi's genius. So don't, so don't worry about her. I said this to convince myself more than anything else. I parted ways with Oni and returned to the sunflower field. I got the tea. Keiji! Let me guess, she collapsed because of the hot weather. Mana came running. Yep! I knew it! She has a heat stroke! Some, something's wrong with her nature! Huh? Oh! I shot a glance in Sachi's direction, only to find her in the midst of a paroxysm of rage. She kept stomping on the ground and slapping herself. <laughs> Ah, damn it! This is so wrong! Why can't I get any ideas? What the hell is wrong with me? Her eyes were bloodshot as a result of her lamentations. Sachi! 
I shouted to her as loudly as I could manage. Shut up, you dumbass! She shouted right back. Scary! You are scaring Mana! Such Sachi shot me a stare, positively dripping with irritation. You know, the problem probably lies with these paintbrushes. Oh, you mean the paintbrushes Mana gave you? The high quality ones? Oh, come on, you start to blame others? Oh god, that's so mean. She's not even scaring her, she is now also insulting her and her presence. Yeah, th that's it! It's the paintbrushes! They are too hard to grip, and they don't even soak up the paint properly. Go buy some new one. I can't paint with these. The situation was taking a turn for the depressing. You are not even done with the sketching yet. I can't believe that you are willing to embarrass yourself like this. D don't act like you know everything! Someone like me is always thinking two or three steps ahead! Really? Anyone could think ahead while painting. At that end, ah, that what was it. She just wanted to lash out at something. She didn't care what. Sachi, calm down and listen to me. I stared into those bloodshot eyes of hers. Mana worked her ass off to buy those paintbrushes you are badmouthing. Do you know what she did to earn that money? Every night she went to the supermarket and got overworked to hell by a scumbag manager while you were stopped. But it was worth it because she managed to buy those fantastic tools you are using right now. A wooden easel and a stool with a built-in cushion. A canvas designed specifically for watercolor paint made from only the highest quality wood and paper. They all represent the depth of Mana's feelings from Sachi. Dot dot dot. Dot dot! Pass the tea. I handed it over. Dot dot dot. She heaved a hefty sigh and headed back to her canvas in a dejected sort of fashion. She looked pretty weak. Could my tools be the problem after all? And oh god, wrong voice. Could, could my tools be the problem after all? I did a lot of research and bought the ones that I thought Onei-chan could use best. Were they not good enough? She tucked my sleeve, seeking reassurance. Unfortunately, I didn't have the knowledge to determine whether or not the tools Mana had bought were suitable. But some... But some things aren't black and white. Your present was perfect. Just a bit of relief flashed across Mana's face. Okay, you know what? I'm going to end this episode right here for a couple of reasons. First of all, I... I already feel how my voice is giving in and I'm still not all well yet. I mean, uh, yeah, my voice is giving in and so and my breath is a little bit too short 
and I can't pronounce yet the words correct because my lips are all sore and I can't form them like I want them to actually do the words like I want them to sound like. So I'm really sorry, but that was at least a good test to see how how healthy I am again. And I think I have to wait for the next episode until my lips are healed fully back and until the cold is gone for good. So yeah, that concludes the episode. I hope you could enjoy it. I'm not really absolutely happy with it because I did it. I I did it although I knew I was still a little bit sick and now I see it had an impact on this episode. So yeah, regardless of that, I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I will hopefully see you around on this channel and also in the next episode, which may take some time before it, com before it comes out. So yeah, stay tuned for that.